Hey everyone, it's Crystal, a blogger with Newsflash, and today I'm going to be discussing self-proclaimed good men. Um, the guys who constantly are telling any and everyone they know about how much of a good man they are, and why women should be falling over their feet for them because they're just so great. This came about because of a conversation that I had with someone uh, yesterday, actually. Uh, he wanted to know why a guy who has all his stuff together, like he does, is not attracting women. Um, about how women go for all the bad boys who have nothing going for themselves, blah, 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 and all the other nonsense. He wanted honest advice about what he could be doing wrong and it's always funny to me like these self-proclaimed good guys because nine times out of ten they're not all that great um my experience has been that guys people in general let's just take it beyond men and people in general people who are really really good people deep down at the core it radiates from their existence like and their actions, how they treat people, their compassion, their proactiveness in bringing about change to their surroundings and different problems, et cetera, et cetera. Like, it's something that you experience for yourself. It's not something they have to keep convincing other people of about how good they are. And they tend to be really humble and forthcoming about their shortcomings, which I think magnifies their goodness even more. I told him that looking good on paper does not mean that you are a good person. Having a good job, a car, your own place, those are all basics of adulthoods. Of adulthoods. Of adulthood. <laughs> all basics of adulthood. And having those things does not make you a good man. It doesn't make you a good person. Like I told him straight up, I know plenty of, excuse my French, a-holes who have multiple degrees drive mercedes are you know coming off to other people they seem like really respectful and all that nonsense but it's really just the mask for how ugly they are inside and they hide behind those things to mask like the craziness that really you know really is who they are um so yeah, looking good on paper does not make you a good person. So it just boggles my mind when people constantly, you know, as a way to give evidence to how good they are, they constantly just rattle off about all their career and educational accomplishments. Um, when that, you know, those things are not what define somebody's character. And that's what I told them. Um... Another thing with self-proclaimed good guys um, and good people, another angle I gave him is with bad boys, quote unquote bad boys, women know what they're getting. You know, when a woman deals with the bad boy, she knows that she's dealing with the wolf. There's no surprise there. So her choosing to deal with him, she goes in with wide eyes wide open. There's no surprises. She knows what she's getting. With these self-proclaimed good boys, good guys, excuse me, nine times out of ten, from my experience and from various women I've talked to and my friends and things like that, nine times out of ten, these self-proclaimed good boys, I keep saying good boys, good guys, are really rabid dogs masquerading in sheepskin. You know, you think you have this calm, nice, <laughs> calm, nice man who, you know, has everything going for himself, but he's really rotten at the core. Like, he just sucks as a human being. He's extremely manipulative um, and feels entitled to everything because he feels that just because he's basic, you know, as far as accomplishing the basics of adulthood, that you should be groveling at his feet. And if you're not, something's wrong with you and they can get downright nasty and mean um i've had that experience myself a few times so yes being a good person goes beyond 
what you do. It goes beyond your career. It goes beyond the house you have. It goes beyond the car you drive. It is who, you know, who you are. When all that stuff is stripped away, it's who you are at the core. And if that isn't in order, that doesn't make you a good person. I don't care how many, you know, how accomplished you are and things of that nature. If you're not right here and here, then you just... You're terrible. <laughs> and I want nothing to do with you. So yes, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. And I hope you have a great week. Until next time, be blessed. Bye.